Hello viewers, in this session we will discuss about requirement for durability. We shall discuss requirement for durability under following heads. First one is exposure conditions. It includes general environment, abrasion, erosion and cavitation, freezing and thawing, acid attack and sulfate attack, sea water attack, carbonation, fire resistance. So these are for particular exposure condition requirement for the durability of the concrete mass. Next one is requirement for concrete cover. Next is shape and size of member. Next is type and quality of constitute materials like water, cement, aggregates and admixers and it includes concrete mix proportions maximum cement content, chloride in concrete, sulfate in concrete and last one is compaction, finishing and curing of concrete. So these are the main heads for a requirement of durability. So let us understand all the heads in details. We will start from freezing and thawing effect. This effects it occurs due to the temperature changes and this effect is not important in our country but this is the important for the cold countries because in the cold countries the temperature is lowered for the saturated hardened concrete and in the saturated hardened concrete the cement base will freeze and in that case volume will be increased and there will be expansion of the concrete mass. So after the freezing effect with increasing temperature there will be thawing effect and after this cycle once again the freezing is happened in the concrete mass so there will be further expansion of the concrete mass will be happen and this subsequent cycle is doing with freezing and thawing effect and this effect will detrimental effect to the strength of the concrete mass. For the fresh concrete we are using the fresh quantity of the concrete mass and with decreasing the temperature and due to the freezing effect there will be formed the ice lenses from the water mass and this will affect to the concrete properties and there will be permanent effect to the concrete mass and this will affect to the durability of the concrete mass. So where the freezing and thawing action under the wet condition exits we can enhance the durability by the use of the air and training admixture. So you can see on your screen the table shows that the nominal maximum size of aggregate and entrapped air percentage in the first column for example if you are using the 20 mm nominal size of the aggregate in your concrete mass so in that case you should use the entered air 5 plus or minus 1 percentage and for the 40 mm size of the aggregate you should use 4 plus or minus 1 percentage in your concrete mass and this table for particular for the less than m50 grade of the concrete mass and second one is general environment. As we know concrete are used in the different environmental condition and we can classify it with the different environmental condition and situation. So you can see the table on your screen 
the table shows that these are the environmental exposure condition for concrete uses and these are the explanation for the particular environmental exposure condition and for example if we talk about the mild condition so what is the mild condition if your concrete surface protected against the weather or aggressive condition it means your concrete is in the mild environment for example moderate if your concrete surface sheltered from severe rain and concrete continuously under water so concrete surface sheltered from the saturated salt air in the coastal area so it means your concrete is in moderate environment if we talk about very severe condition so concrete surface exposed to the sea water spray and corrosive fumes so these situations we can consider in very severe condition so this level you can see on your table first level we can say mild environmental condition in the second level moderate third one severe fourth one very severe and last one is the extreme environmental situation and here in the second column you can see the explanation of the particular environment so these are the classification have been done for the different environmental condition so let us discuss about carbonation as we know carbon dioxide present in the water and with hydrated cement materials converting calcium hydroxide to the calcium carbonate CaCO3 and if we talk about the factor affecting the rate of carbonation the first one is a grade of concrete which type of the grade you are using in your existing site m20 m50 m100 so this will affect to the carbonation rate of the concrete mass if you are using the higher grade of the concrete mass in that case the rate of the carbonation will be less second one is the permeability of concrete third one is humidity fourth time and last one is cover to reinforcement so these are the main factors affecting to the carbonation and you can see this photo shows the carbonation effect on concrete mass let us discuss about a requirement of concrete cover as we know concrete is exposed in the different environmental condition with the different situation so for the durability purpose we should provide the minimum cover to resist the situation or environmental exposure at which you are using the concrete so if we talk about the minimum requirement for the particular situation you can see the table on your screen as we know we have classified the different environmental exposure condition for the concrete first one is a mild second one is a moderate third one is a severe fourth one is a very severe and last one is a extreme so in the mild condition you should provide the nominal cover minimum nominal cover at least 20 mm for the mild 30 mm for the moderate exposure condition and 45 mm for the severe exposure condition 50 mm for the very severe exposure condition and 75 mm for extreme exposure condition of concrete so these are the minimum requirement of cover you should provide 
for the durability of the concrete mass and for the footing you should provide at least 50 mm in case of columns of minimum dimension of 200 mm or under whose reinforcement not exceed 12 mm and nominal cover should be provided 25 mm so these are the requirement for the durability for the concrete cover let us discuss about type and quality of constituent materials first one is concrete mix proportions as we know in the concrete mix proportions we are focusing on the water cement ratio and minimum cement content so you can see on your screen the table shows with the different exposure conditions like mild moderate severe very severe and extreme and these three columns for the particular plain concrete pcc and this last three columns shows that rcc requirements so you can see the exposure conditions like mild moderate severe very severe and extreme shown in the first column and in the pcc the first column shows that minimum cement content second shows that maximum water cement ratio in the third column have been given minimum grade of concrete and you can see this last three columns for the rcc minimum cement content maximum water cement ratio and minimum grade of concrete for example you are using concrete in the moderate exposure condition so in that case you should use at least 240 kilogram per cubic meter for pcc if you are using rcc in that case you have to use at least 300 kilogram per cubic meter for the moderate exposure condition if we talk about the water cement ratio be in the pcc you can use up to the 0 0.60 and in case of the rcc you can use up to 0 0.5 for particular water cement ratio in moderate exposure condition if we talk about the minimum grade of concrete in the pcc you should use at least m15 grade of the concrete for particular moderate exposure condition and in the rcc you should use m25 minimum in moderate exposure condition so these are the exposure conditions and you should follow the minimum criteria for the durability purpose and second one is a chloride in concrete as we know chloride is insert in the concrete mass due to the ingredients of the concrete mass like cement aggregate water so due to this chloride content this will corrode the metal in your rcc it means your reinforcement will be corrode it means corrosion may be done in your rcc element with the chloride content and there is a some permissible limit has been given which is 0 0.4 to 3 kg per cubic meter and if we talk about the sulfates in concrete the sulfates contents is generally insert in the concrete mass due to mainly the cement and some of aggregates and it should not be exceed 4 percentage by the mass of cement in mix so this is all about the types and quality of
constitute materials. Next one is abrasion, erosion and cavitation. What is abrasion? Abrasion refers to wearing way of surface by friction. What is erosion? Erosion refers to wearing away the surface by the action of fluids. What is cavitation? Cavitation refers the damage due to the non-linear flow of water at the velocity more than 20 meter per second. And we can reduce the wearing effect on the concrete mass due to with the using of the high grade of the concrete and we can resist it with the increasing the hardening of the concrete mass. So before the using of the aggregates we have to analyze the properties of the aggregates with using of the abrasion test. The hardness of the coarse aggregates is also important in the abrasion resistance. Next one is a sea water attack. Sea water contains the sulfates and hence attacks in the manner similar to the sulfate attacks. And sea water contain 3.5 percentage salt by the weight and it pH value varies between 7.5 to 8.4 and sea water also contains some amount of carbon dioxide. So you might have a question arise that how we can reduce the sea water attack. You can reduce it by using of the cement mass with lowering of the tricalcium aluminate and particular PCC, you must use at least M20 grade of the concrete and in case of the RCC, you must use at least M30 grade of the concrete. And if we talk about the cover of the concrete to resist the corrosion effect to your reinforcement in your RCC element, you should provide at least 75 mm to resist seawater attack. And you should not provide the joints of concrete which is facing of the sea spray above the 600 mm or below the 600 mm of the area which exposed to the sea water. So we can decrease the effect of the sea water at it and we can enhance the durability of the concrete mass. So this is all about the requirement for the durability of the concrete mass. Thank you.